define noun. A noun is, a, is generally where it's used to refer to people, animals, objects, substances, states, events, feelings, abstracts and intangible concepts. Examples of nouns. Now we have examples of names of people like Ada, Chioma, Musa. Names of animals, goat, dog, cow. Names of objects, pencil, table, house. Names of events, funeral, seminar, lecture, wedding, etc. Names of feelings, anger, joy, anxiety, pity, and so on. Names of intangible and abstract concepts, birth, technology, and so on. There are singular and plural forms of noun. Nouns could appear in singular and plural forms, depending on their number. Singular nouns are those nouns referring to a single person, animal, place, substance, object, event, feeling, state, and other concepts that are naming words. Why plural nouns are naming words that are used to represent more than one person, animal, place, substance, object, event, feeling, state, and other concepts that are naming words. There are rules of singular and plural nouns. The general rule for determining singular and plural forms of nouns is by adding S. We have some of the examples here. Pot as a singular noun. The plural of pot is pots, boy, boys, cow, cows, seminar, seminars, idea, ideas. So nouns do not conform with the general rule of adding S. Instead, they had ES, IES, or change some vowel or consonant sounds from within the words. Examples. The first example we have has to do with nouns that end in SH, CH, S, Z, X, and O form their plural nouns by adding E, S. So any noun that ends in those words that we have highlighted S, H, C, H, S, Z, X, and O. They form their plural form by adding E, S. Let us check some of the examples. Church, churches. Bush, bushes. Boss, bosses. Tomato, tomatoes. Bench, benches. Fox, foxes. Dress, dresses. Loss, losses. Watch, watches. Boss, bosses. Box, Boxes. So all these are examples of words that take ES to form their plural forms. Nouns that end in Y change to plural by converting the Y to I and then add ES. Examples Baby, babies. Daddy, daddies. Poppy, poppies. Lady, ladies. Party, parties. Fairy, fairies, obby, obbies, paddy, paddies. This rule applies to words that end in Y. When the Y is preceded by a vowel sound, the Y remains and add S to form plural. Examples, toy, toys, key, keys, day, days, boy, boys. So now they are irregular and do not have definite rules for their formation. Hence, they have to be learned by heart. Examples, data, datum. Datum is a singular, while data is a plural. Forum, fora, alumna, alumni, alumnus, alumni. Criterion, criteria, agendum, agenda. Some nouns form their plurals by changing internal vowel 
or consonant sounds. Examples, knife, knives, wife, wives, woman, women, cow, cows, half, halves, leaf, leaves, wolf, wolves, shelf, shelves, self, selves. Nouns ending in O, at times take E, S, and at times take S to form their plural. Examples, tomato, tomatoes, hero, heroes, echo, echoes, potato, potatoes, zero, zeros, kilo, kilos, radio, radios, piano, pianos, logo, logos, cargo, cargos, silo, silos, allo, allos. Some irregular nouns form their plurals through change in spelling. Examples of nouns that change in spellings to form their plurals. Examples of words that change to plural forms through change in spellings. Man, men, woman, women, child, children, foot, feet, tooth, teeth, goose, geese, ox, oxen. Laos, lies, mouse, mice, die, dies, person, people. Some nouns appear only in the plural form but are used for singular nouns. Examples include mathematics, physics, politics, drugs, nocturnes, pyjamas, belongings, savings, pants, riches, premises, Pliers, glasses, barracks, whereabouts, economics, mumps, measles, manners, scissors, and so on. Nouns that end in L, F, or F change to V, E, S. Examples We have leaf, leaves, wife, wives, knife, knives, self, selves. Calf, calves, shelf, shelves, half, halves. Plural forms of nouns that are foreign words. Most words borrowed from another language maintain their original form or do not conform to the English rule of word formation. Examples include portmanteau, portmanteau. The only difference between the plural and singular form of portmanteau is the S behind the plural portmanteau. Bacterium, bacteria. Cocos, cocci. Bacillus, bacilli. Corpus, corpora. Analysis, analysis. Agendum, agenda. Criterion, criteria. Phenomenon, phenomena. Vertebra, vertebrae. Datum, data. Halga, halgae. And so on. Singular and plural forms of compound words in English language. Compound nouns are either written together or hyphenated. While pluralizing compound words, attention should be paid to words that will take the plural marker. Words that are written together often adapt the plural S at the end, while it varies in those that are hyphenated. Examples of compound words that pluralizes the first word. Brother-in-law changes to brothers-in-law. Major general changes to majors general. Man o wo changes to men o wo. Governor elect changes to governors elect. Commander in chief changes to commanders in chief. Passer by changes to passers by. Mother-in-law changes to mothers-in-law. Lady in waiting changes to ladies in waiting. Son in law changes to sons in law. Bride to be changes to brides to be. And so on. Compound words that pluralize the second or last words. Examples by law changes to by laws. Nikaboka changes to Nikabokas. Godfather changes to Godfathers. Craftsman changes to craftsmen. Please constable changes to please 
constables. One third changes to one third. Stepfather changes to step fathers. Have nots changes to have nots. Drop out changes to drop out. Let's move on to types of noun. The first type of noun we are going to discuss is the common noun. Common nouns are general names of objects, places, persons, or things. Examples are schools, church, mosque, book, town, month, clothes, house, shoes, etc. The next one we'll be considering is the proper noun. Proper nouns are specific names given to objects, places, or things. Examples Queen Elizabeth School, Lori, St. Louis Catholic Church, Ibado, Lagos, April, Helene. The first example there, Queen Elizabeth School, Lori, is representing the name of a particular school. St. Louis Catholic Church is the name of a particular church. Lagos is the name of a particular city. April is the name of a particular month. Helene is the name of a particular person. Now let's see the difference between common noun and proper noun. Examples. School. School is a general name for places where they live. Now let's consider the proper noun for schools. We have